Hey guys, there are different type of databases that you will come across and each offers its own unique benefits. These can be primarily categorized into SQL or relational databases and NoSQL or non-relational databases. First off, let's have a look at a relational database. A relational database is a type of database that stores data in tables. In a relational database, each row in the table is a record with a unique ID called the key. The columns of the table hold attributes of the data and each record usually has a value for each attribute, making it easy to establish relationships among data points and hence the name Relational Database Management System or RDBMS. This type of database can only work on structured data and structured programming languages such as SQL can be effectively used to insert, search, update, or delete database records. Some common examples of RDBMS are Oracle, MySQL, Microsoft SQL Server, and PostgreSQL. Now, here is an example of what a relational database looks like. Let's say you have a table that stores users' details, and let's say this table is called users. Now, this users table will have details such as user ID, first name of the user, last name of the user, and their age. Now, let's also say that there is another table that stores user's educational degree and it can be related to the user's table by using the user id column as you can see this type of data is structured and is stored in tables and it can be related to each other using columns such as the user id column in this example now let's talk about non-relational databases a non-relational database is a database that works on semi-structured or unstructured data it is also called a NoSQL database and has a dynamic schema for unstructured data storage. This data can be stored in many ways, which means it can be document oriented, column oriented, graph based, or a key value store. This flexibility means that the database can be created without having a defined structure first. Now, if you compare this with relational databases, you always need to predefine the structure and adhere to that structure throughout the life of the database. Next, NoSQL databases store data in documents which consist of key value pairs. The syntax varies from database to database and you can add fields as you go. NoSQL databases provide flexible data model with the ability to easily store and combine data of any structure without the need to modify the schema. And hence, it is suitable for big data and real-time web apps. Elasticsearch is a type of NoSQL database that stores data as a JSON document. I've attached a link from Elasticsearch's blog if you want to read further on this. Now let's have a look at an example of a NoSQL database. Here on the screen, I have a NoSQL database that consists of two documents. And as you can see, the structure of both documents differ. For example, document number two has a key value pair for education, which is not present in document number one. Also, if you look at hobbies, there's an extra hobby of swimming for our user. Now, this flexibility allows NoSQL databases to be used for big data applications. Now, there's another difference between NoSQL and SQL databases, which is how they scale. Relational databases scale vertically and NoSQL or non-relational databases scale horizontally. What that means is when you have to increase the capacity of your database, the only way to do it in a relational database model is to have a bigger machine. Now, what this means is downtime to increase the capacity and maintenance task. A way to avoid having a downtime later is to pre-provision capacity. However, the flip side of that is that all that capacity would essentially be wasted until it is needed. Non-relational or NoSQL databases solve this problem by horizontally scaling. What that means is that whenever you need capacity, you can add more capacity by just adding more machines to your cluster. This way, you do not have to pre-provision any capacity and you do not need downtimes as well. With this, we've come to the end of this lecture. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.